Piriformis muscle externally rotates the hip, but the classic stretch position externally rotates the hip. Wait, doesn't that shorten the muscle? Actually, it's all about attachment. To help you better understand, look at this TheraVan I have hooked up to the door. Think of the door as your thigh bone. When your thigh is straight, like it is when you're standing, the piriformis externally rotates the hip. But as soon as your leg moves forward and flexes past about that 45 degree, that same muscle actually turns into an internal rotator of the hip. So with the classic piriformis stretch, we have our hip flexed up past 90 degrees, and we're externally rotating the hip, but actually stretching the piriformis muscle. This is great, but in order to get a complete stretch of the muscle in multiple positions, make sure you stretch into internal rotation with the hip straight like I'm showing here. I'm putting the left piriformis on stretch by rotating into the left hip. You should feel a deep stretch in the outside and back of your left buttock. If it's too intense, you can lie on your stomach and actively internally rotate the hip to the point of a stretch. Work on all three of these each day and your pain should wash away because now you know 